Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TNR. Today we are making geode pumpkins or you can say crystallized pumpkin. And this is the clay I'm using. You can use any air dry clay you want. And I have this pumpkin candle for my reference for making the pumpkins. But again, I went with my own twist. And this one I made already. And I will be making some more in front of you. So this will be a messy process. So I'm just warning you beforehand. I don't wear gloves when I'm working with clay because I really want to feel the clay when I'm sculpting. So I'm, I can't wear gloves, but you can wear gloves. It's totally up to you. So this is the clay and I'm just warming it up in my hands. And now I am starting to make the basic shape for the pumpkin. Again, this is really up to you because pumpkin comes in so many shapes, so many colors, so many designs. So this is the shape I am going to be working with. And I have taken a simple wooden stick here and I am just poking a hole in the center where I want my top to be and now with the help of a little water I dipped in I'm making the incisions and now doing the same on the bottom so that my lines will align with each other so in this way i will be making my pumpkin so just watch and enjoy the process So now when I got the basic shape of the pumpkin, I am removing some slices where I want my crystals to be. Again, this is really up to you how, you, how much you want to remove and make. So with water, I am again cleaning up all the edges. And now I'm making the stock and we'll leave it to dry. So this is the third one I made. I made it in an elongated shape. So I am making total three. So about after a week, these are now dry because these are made of a dry clay and I wanted them to be fully dried. So this was a long process. Now I will be adding colors just going with the traditional colors a bit of aesthetic witchy so this one is going to be a black one 
and I'm using simple acrylic colors here. After doing the black one, here I'm using this one. It's going in a bit of red, orange, yellow, brown, white. I have taken so many colors on my palette and I'm just making and shading it. And for the third one, I just simply spray painted it in a white color. That's it. So now it comes the fun part. My pumpkins are dried. I gave around two days more to these pumpkins for the for the acrylic color to dry, and again let them giving them some more time. So these are the sand that I will be using. It's white sand, and it's a bit of coarse. It's really not fine sand. So I will be mixing this coarse and a fine sand mixture here into the resin. Make sure you make a thick paste. You don't really don't want a runny paste here. So there are a lot of ways to make this is the fine sand I'm showing here. There I was telling you that there are a lot of ways to make these crystals. I will be soon making a tutorial on how you can make crystals with resin but for now I'm just making the geode effect. So I'm combining these. Again there are so many tips on creating these. You can add a lot of mica powder in there. Simple pearl mica powder. At this moment I didn't add anything here other than the fine sand and the coarse sand. And you can see how thick it is now, but it's workable. It's like a clay now and I will be using it. You will see later on how. So don't get afraid that your reason is hard or something has happened here. It's nothing happening, but it's this is the thing you want. So now I will be using little bit onto the geodes as uh, onto the pumpkins and it's attaching itself to the pumpkins really nicely. First of all what I'm doing here is I am applying it very firmly the first layer and then later on I will be putting pieces of this sand you can see that I'm picking up and putting it onto the 
pumpkin to create the effect of the crystal. And for our reference, you can put some crystals in front of you. That will be really helpful. So here you can see I'm picking up the pieces of the resin mixed my mixed mixture and I'm just putting here and there for creating the crystal effect. So on to the second one, doing the same thing again. So this was my crystal for reference here. So this is really a fun way to create these crystals. You can go overboard and create a big pumpkin and a big crystal effect or any other decoration you want to create these crystals. This is the technique. So the whole process of adding these crystals, I haven't edited anything out. This is everything that I have done. And now is the fun part. This is a German glass glitter. And it's basically small glass pieces that are shattered. And what I will be doing here is that I will be just sprinkling this onto the top of the layer of the resin and the sand that I have just applied. And it's still wet. So this gives another dimension to this crystal effect. So I will link that glass glitter in my description. I bought it from eBay. Also you can mix this into the mixture beforehand as well. But this time I didn't mix it. I am going to be pouring it on top. And you can already see that by pouring it you can see that crystal effect. So now I will let it cure. 
so this is second day and all my glass glitter has been cured so now i will be adding some more magic to my pumpkins and that is my favorite gold color and this is the liquid gold that i will be applying on to the pumpkins adding this liquid gold to the pumpkin stem And I will be doing this on all three of them and on some top as well. So now I think I have lost the count of days for these pumpkins. What I'm doing here is I have this a dry clay. It's an epoxy sculpt and I have it's a two part clay. What I'm doing here is I am adding this clay to the a dry clay and I'm attaching some quartz crystals. Just to give it a more natural effect. So after applying the crystals, I will be covering that clay with this gold foil. And now I will be using this gilding glue and I'm applying to the crystal sides.
and we'll let it dry for a day so this is the i don't know which day i'm sorry about that but what i'm doing here is uh, these are some crystals that i have i have broken down into smaller pieces and i am picking up the one that are really clear and i'm going to stick them into my pumpkins i already have done some before but now i'm adding some more because i think they need some more crystals so i'm just picking up places that where i want to put them what i have taken here is it's a transparent silicone glue and i'm just picking up and using some of the glue and i will be attaching it onto the crystals So this is again a labor of work and a lot of hard work has gone into making these pumpkins but the result is amazing and once you create these everyone will be asking about these and plus you can sell them this is amazing this is amazing for your business it's a tip you can create this crystallized effect on different objects on candles on your resin items anything So after applying these crystals, I will be adding the gold foil. It's the next step that we have applied the gilding glue the previous night. So slowly I'm adding this foil onto the places where I have applied the gilding glue. So this is the final step on making these pumpkins. So let's see how they turned out. And this is how they turned out. And I am sorry that I am guilty of saying that I love my creation so much. But I will be saying this again because they are amazing. And they took me weeks to make. But I really love the end result. So I hope you like them and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please your suggestions and comments are always welcome. Any questions I will be answering them as soon as possible. And thank you so much for watching again. Like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed the channel please considering do so because it helps me and it motivates me to create more amazing creations and tips and tricks because it takes a lot of thoughts and thinking to create what new that it's that is not already out there and something to stand out from others so i think enough of talking here and taking your time a lot 
but again thank you so much take care bye bye